I'm here with Polly and Narvi. These guys were Bulk and Skull from 20 years ago from Power Rangers, and you guys are back here at Comic Con to talk to fans. Polly's very actively involved in the show, and here, oh, oh. Walter Jones. Some Walter Jones, better known as Zach from the original. Also known as Zach, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Mighty Morphin, the Black Ranger, the, orig the original, original Black OG, Ranger. That's what not the second the one. No, not the one 20 years later. Not, not the Johnny Black guy. It we, was Walter Jones. Walter Jones. Yes. So guys, right. 20 years of Power Rangers. Years. This fandom just came out in force right. to see your panel. How does it feel after having such an outpouring from the fans? Pretty awesome, man. Gotta love it. I mean, uh, it's just an amazing thing to see our fans still support us like this after 20 years. It's, uh, it was a huge hall today. It was full of a lot of fans, a lot of people. Yeah, it a was. lot of people that love the Power Rangers. And all in one place. Like, if we would have put our energy together, we could build a small castle very quickly. Very small, but very quickly. Quickly. What would we name it? Castle. Castle, castle Power, Power Rangers. Rangers fan dumb. Castle. Span castle. Exactly. Spandex, For yeah. people. Castle Spandex. Castle oh, Spandex. Nice. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so, guys, at Comic Con this year, we get the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers DVD set for the first time ever 155 so episodes. It's about time. It is about time. Man. Yeah. I mean, we've got Netflix now showing your episodes. Yes. So, yeah, you know, yeah. people are seeing all these original episodes for the first time. I know. You know, including generation. Us. Including you yeah. guys. Seriously, yeah. some of them I haven't even seen. I know. Yeah. Some of me it, too. And, and it's really sort of like seeing a glimpse of your uh, childhood. Yeah. You know, it really is. It is. So I'm anxious to get down to I, see like, I'll see stuff that we've never seen or that I haven't, and I'm like, I don't, do I remember that? I'm, oh, yeah, I remember that oh, horrible yeah, I costume. Do that I remember that pain, that, yeah. that painful gag. Yeah. <laughs> so as soon as it went online or went on Netflix, as it were, did you guys just start marathoning yourselves or, or uh, what? Well, I That's mean, a little so narcissistic. Yes. It yes, it is. We did and that. I only did it for two days. It was just two days. Two and days, after that, that I, I stopped. You well, didn't sleep those two days, though, did you? Well, two days later, I did it again, so... Well, Jason, you were kind enough to come down from Chicago. That's right. Surprise everyone at the panel. Yep. Bulk and Skull reunited. Oh, I mean, yeah. these three guys together in one place, you know, can't go wrong. It's, it, tell us about what, you know, what this uh, convention means to you. You know, it's a, it's a big deal. Um, Comic-Con is, um, as we've said before, this is where our heroes come. So for us to be included in the batch of heroes, well, not so much us, but them, you're, the Power Rangers. No, you guys, no, no, this, this group, this, I mean, this is the Power Rangers. Tell me pretty, Mama, tell me you love me. Exactly, yeah. I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it was a real honor, you know? It was, it was to show that Power Rangers had, had staying power uh, at long last. It was to show that the fan base is strong enough that we need to look at it again as, as a, an integral part of kind of pop culture, you know, of the, 20, the late 20th century. Yeah. For Ouch. me, it definitely stands out as something that... Uh, uh, an accomplishment. I mean, considering the fact that I, I am kind of like the original, one of the first teenage African American superhero. It's like uh, to now be here 20 years later is uh, is a testament to to what that was and and the fans that came out and, and it celebrated. Yeah, it is it right is. now. Yeah, I mean, it's, just, nice. it's so it's awesome. valid today. It's awesome. Yeah. And Paula, you just joined the Samurai cast this last season, or uh, Super Samurai as well now. How does it feel to be back on the air fighting alongside these teenagers with attitude? Well, it's like getting together with your high school girlfriend. Um, same show, same character, same clothes, different skinny guy. And, you know, as long as he has the same last name, I guess we're okay in the universe. Um, I will say, for, for me, there was a kind of a shift into something a bit more parental, which is good and bad in some ways, because you can't be as stupid when you are supposedly in charge of someone else. So there's an extra layer built into it where I'm trying to be very parochial or kind of, you know? Um, and then of course I, I had to strategically revert back into, you know, ridiculousness. So it, it was good and it's, it's an awesome show. I love the franchise and the fact that we have this kind of rolling life, this amorphous cloud of characters that could be in a movie or they could be in another series or they could be in the new um, Saban Brands block on the CW. There you go. Anytime. Coming soon. Coming soon. <laughs> Well, really, Power Rangers itself, you know, it is truly an honor to have you guys here, and I know the fans are excited about it. If Power Rangers could team up with another franchise, say anything, we've had Ninja Turtles teamed up right. in the past, what would you guys like to see? You could even be a part of it, you could just like to see it in general, Batman, Superman, who do you want the Power Rangers fighting alongside? The Avengers. I'm down. Original yeah. cast reunion for the Avengers? Uh, Power yeah. Rangers, Avengers? Yeah, I, that would be nice. The Magnificent Seven. Ah, okay. Uh, Misfits in BBC. Very nice. What did you guys actually take away personally from Power Rangers? Like the number one thing that Power Rangers 
established in your lives? Ooh. Interesting question. Mm. <laughs> Continuity? I mean, when you're on a show as long as I was, or we were, definitely there's like a, a grounding force. Uh, like, you can't go two hours outside of L.A. without getting permission from someone who's not going to give you permission. So, you know, you learn, you learn your city well when you're not allowed to skydive, bungee jump, run, <laughs> ride bikes, motorcycles, nothing. You know, and I'd say the same thing about continuity as, as an artist. You know, you try to build something in life. In, in life, no matter what you do, you want to build something that is consistent. You build on your last previous success. And when this is your first big success, where you go from there? So it kind of, I felt, kind of t forced us to tie into larger, older traditions. Superhero, slapstick comedy, acting in general. I would say experience and pride in, in something I've already achieved.